Good afternoon to you all. Fintan Manon here, Bishop of Killaloo. A very warm word of welcome to the Basilica in the Shrine of Our Lady of Knock in County Mayo. Today is a special day for the Diocese of Killaloo with the annual diocesan pilgrimage and due to the unfortunate circumstances of the coronavirus, it has to be a virtual pilgrimage this year. Knock is a very special place of pilgrimage for so many people of the Diocese of Killaloo. In recent years it has become very accessible due to the improvements in the road network. We're thankful for that. Many people come here for individual visits, for parish pilgrimages, for school retreats, for overnight vigils or for the big novena here in August every year. The Diocese of Killaloo is a huge diocese that extends almost the entire width of the country from the Schlieve Blooms in Offaly to Loop Head in West Clare and it covers five counties, the counties of Clare and Tipperary and Limerick and Leash and Offaly. The cathedral is based in Ennis in Clare and was built in the early 1800s and is dedicated to the saints Peter and Paul. Saint Malua is the saint from which the diocese gets its name, Kildalua. Saint Flannan, an outstanding pupil of Saint Malua, is the patron and Saint Senan of Scattery Island is a secondary patron. The diocese is steeped in ancient religious tradition and heritage with outstanding places like Laura and Terry Glass and Clare Abbey, along with beautiful pilgrimage places in the Shannon Estuary, Cannon Island and places like Scattery Island and Holy Island in Loch Derg and many other such locations. People come to Knock for many different reasons. For some it's simply a day out, other people come to share in the sacred shrine to pray and to worship God to pray to Mary. Many people come with heartfelt petitions. They come with various different uh, needs to be renewed in spirit, mind and body. The spirituality of Knock is very special and very broad and is summarised in the beautiful icon that is on the wall of the uh, parish church. It's a Marian spirituality, praying to Mary, Mother of God and our Mother too. In focusing on the altar and the Lamb of God, it's a Eucharistic spirituality, the Mass, the summit and the source of our worship and liturgy, the great prayer of thanksgiving. With the prominence of the cross, it's a spirituality that acknowledges and is in solidarity with the suffering and the challenges of all who come here to pray in communion with the suffering of Jesus Christ. It's a spirituality that recognises the importance of angels and our belief that they are caring and looking out for us. It's a biblical spirituality, recognising the prominence of St. John the Evangelist, holding the scriptures in his hands and teaching the eternal truths in doing that. It's a spirituality that encourages devotion to the saints, St. Joseph, the fatherly figure, to mind us and care for us and guide us and protect us. It's a Trinitarian spirituality, the Trinitarian uh, of John's greeting, where you have Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It's a spirituality that recognises the two natures of Jesus, human and divine, and the two fingers of St. John put forward to do that. Every blessing and good wish to all pilgrims from Killaloo Diocese and elsewhere who journey through this virtual time of sacred space today. Health and blessings and good wishes to all. May you be under the loving care of the mantle of Mary at this special time of devotion to Mary in the month of May. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. St. John the Evangelist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Flannan, pray for us. St. Senan, pray for us. St. Malua, pray for us. 